Alrighty guys, welcome back to another little video where today we are going to be taking a look at Cyberpunk 2077 on an x58 based PC. Now this was done with a Dell Precision T3500, um, a couple of different CPUs and a couple of different GPUs, both from AMD and Nvidia. So I know that this problem was based off of the x58 platform, at least that's what I'm guessing. Okay, so as you can see there, I just tried to load a save and what happens next I guess was kind of surprising to me it crashed and so I decided that I was going to do some investigating and I discovered that if you are to start a new game and you make it to this cutscene your game will crash on an x58 based PC anything further than this cutscene will cause your game to crash but that does not mean that it doesn't work on an x58 based PC as you can see here I'm going to new game uh, starting with the Nomad start, and then just cr uh, quickly creating my character. Nothing special, get into the game, and something kind of interesting happens. It doesn't crash. It doesn't crash once you're in the game. It's totally fine. Kind of. Because if you were to play through the prologue, or play through the... Uh, uh, the opening scene of the game, and then get to that cutscene, you will have the game crash again. So, but I just wanted to show you guys that, yes, in fact, you can play Cyberpunk 2077 on an X58 based PC, but it is broken. And this is just kind of like going through some of the opening stuff, just kind of showing you guys that it actually is working. Granted, I probably didn't need to put this much gameplay in here. It was just more to kind of get the point across. Now, I did not try this with the other two openings, I only tried this with the Nomad opening, and so I might have different uh, success with other ones. But watch what happens once we well, start driving, once the sheriff gets out of our way. By the way, seriously, were they just like trying to create a character that was just like absolutely just jerkbag right from the get-go? Wow, I really did not need to put this much uh, put this much gameplay in here. And as you can see, we are now into the world, and in this prologue area, it's totally fine. Not to mention the fact that we're running a pretty smooth, uh, about 35 to 40 FPS, meaning that our CPU was only pegged at about 40%, and our GPU is pegged at 100%. Now this was with the R9 to 90 um, Direct CU2. But now this is where things get kind of funny. We're loaded into the game. Let's load into that same exact save file from before. And this is how I know that this game is currently broken on x58. Because once I loaded into this old save file and press continue, we didn't crash. We're completely into the game now. This is getting past that one little prologue area and we're fine. I spent a good 35 to 40 minutes driving around just seeing if we were going to crash again. I didn't try and do any uh, questing, but it was totally fine. I literally drove around most of the city that you have access to in the early game, and it was totally fine. Not to mention the fact that it was actually really smooth, where my GPU was pegged at 100% the entire time. My CPU is only pegged at about 40. Now, the CPU that I used was a W3680 at stock and uh, 24 gigabytes of Samsung memory inside of my Dell Precision T3500. So, guys, X58 can definitely run Cyberpunk 2077. Like, a 6-core, 12-threaded Xeon on the X58 platform can definitely run Cyberpunk 2077, but it is currently broken. So keep that in mind if you have an X58 PC and you're thinking about buying Cyberpunk 2077. Now, I did delay this video a little bit longer than what I should have, because I was planning on having it be like day one when I discovered everything, but I wanted to give them a little bit of time to see if they were going to patch it back out to fix the problem. But they did not fix the X58 